all right you guys so today we are going to get a look at the hot toys television masterpiece series one six scale the mandalorian and the child deluxe version very excited to get this particular set in guys so let's get a look at the box so getting a look at the box of course as always we do have a very cool illustration of both of our figures on the front side of the box with our Star Wars logo embossed also on the box. And then of course we have a very cool banner that wraps around the lid of the box that has an illustration of our figure holding his rifle. And then on the banner we have Star Wars and then we have Television Masterpiece Series 015, The Mandalorian and the Child Deluxe Version. And then of course we have our Hot Toys logo down underneath our depiction of the Mandalorian on the banner. And then of course, on the other side of the box, we have the banner that wraps around showing the tip of the rifle. And then again, we have television masterpiece series 015, the Mandalorian and the child deluxe version, our Hot Toys logo. And then on the back side of the box, again, we have television masterpiece series TMS 015, the Mandalorian and the Child Deluxe version, our Hot Toys logo, and then of course, all of our other readables, warnings, and other information. And then once again, with the banner wrapping around the other side of the lid of the box, we have an illustration of our figure, the Mandalorian, holding the case that holds the Beskar, which is really cool. That's a part of the deluxe version of this particular set, guys. There's gonna be quite a few accessories with this set, so there's a lot to get to. So what do you say we go ahead and just open this guy up and get a look at all of the contents on the inside of this box, guys? So as always, we have a absolutely awesome illustration of the figures together in a scene depicted from scene one, episode one, the first meeting between the child and the Mandalorian. And this is an absolutely awesome, awesome illustration and insert box art that I've seen on any of these Hot Toys figures. This is just absolutely amazing. So getting you a look at all of the content on the inside of the box, guys, and there is quite a bit here. But as you can see, we actually have two figures of the child here, which is very cool. I really forgot that there was gonna be two separate figures of the child coming with this set. So that is absolutely awesome. And then of course you have the floating crib there. You have your best guard, the bars right there, which is really, really nice. You have a hologram there. Uh, I'm not sure who that hologram is of, but we will find out. I really forget. Uh, exactly what everything comes with. You have the shoulder armor, which is there off to the side. You have several different hand positions and we'll get a look at all of that. You have flame, uh, obviously with the flamethrower that he has. Uh, so really, really cool stuff. Lots of accessories to look at guys. So let's go ahead and get a look at everything that comes with this particular set. Looks awesome. All right, you guys, so we have our figure out of the box, both of our figures out of the box and really cool Mandalorian figure, very awesome. Obviously, I did get the other version of the Mandalorian with the regular version without the Beskar armor. And it is obviously the same figure, but uh, I do like the Beskar armor on this particular figure. He looks really good. And we will get a comparison of the two different figures, uh, two different hot toy Mandalorian figures later on in the review. But uh, obviously, uh, I do really like this particular figure. Um, I, I can't say that it's any better than the original figure that I received, uh, other than the fact that it comes with the shinier armor and much more accessories as well. And of course, we have our Grogu Baby Yoda figure. Um, a little disappointed with the Baby Yoda figure. Um, 
didn't realize that it wasn't as articulated as it really should be, uh, especially for a one six scale figure. Um, uh, there's no articulation with the arms. Uh, obviously there's no legs. Um, there are feet, but the feet are not articulated. Uh, the head, however, is articulated. You can move the head around. Uh, he does look up and down and we'll get a look at uh, the articulation on uh, that figure as well. Um, but it is a little disappointing, but as we saw inside of the package, you do get two of these figures. So guys, let's start off by getting you guys a closer look at both of these figures. We're gonna start with Grogu, uh, so we can just knock him out of the box here, because again, guys, a little disappointed that he doesn't come with any articulation. So let's go ahead and get a look at our Grogu figure here. So getting you guys a look at our Grogu, a very, very cool figure. He looks really good, actually. Um, but there's no articulation in the arms, guys. Uh, unfortunately, uh, his arms are stuck in the position, even the hands themselves. Uh, there's no articulation there, unfortunately. Um, but for appearance's sake, he does look really good. Um, I think he is probably within scale of the uh, Mandalorian. So that's good as well. Uh, again, there's very little articulation um, we can actually cover that in just a moment, but I wanted to get you guys a closer look at all of the detail. Um, not much weathering. He seems to be fairly clean, uh, but after all, he is a child. It's really good. Just no articulation in the arms, no legs. He does have feet, uh, but the feet, not really much. In the head, you have down, up, and left and right. So you, you do have that. There's even a little head nod where you can head nod them a little bit, but that's as far as the articulation goes for this particular figure. Um, the hands are in the positions that they are going to be in for this particular figure, and that's just a little disappointing there. And then, of course, whenever you have him walking alongside your Mandalorian figure, that is going to be the scale, uh, how they look next to each other which isn't bad, I think that's about right. So uh, at least that particular part of it is very, very cool. So obviously, as we saw in the box, there is the floating crib or the fam, uh, I believe it's called. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And this is very cool, it looks very nice. I love it, actually. It just looks really, really cool. And I'm very, very glad to have it. Very awesome looking very pretty much accurate to what we saw in the show so that's a really really nice accessory and then of course the lid pops off take the lid off and it exposes your second version of the child so you have your grogu that comes with the crib he also has a blanket as well it's a nice little cool little blanket there and uh he is magnetized so he kind of pops right into place and he won't fall out because he is magnetized. So that's really, really cool. And he is articulated. He can look to the left and look to the right. You can also do up and down as well in the head area. So that's really cool. When you take him out of the crib, he's basically in a crawling position out of the crib, but that's very cool. He looks great. Again, there is no articulation in the hands. Uh, they are in the position that they are going to be in, but you do have articulation in the head with your Grogu. Very cool. And since we have the crib open, just getting you a look on the inside of the crib. Very cool. I think it looks fairly accurate to what we saw on the show. So again, it's really, really nice and a very, very cool accessory to come with your figure. Very cool. You have the lid for your crib. It kind of just fits right in there. Almost like a, a plastic Easter egg. And it basically just snaps right into place. And you have your closed lid on the crib, which is really, really nice. It would have been cool if they would have had it open, like it's how it splits open from here to there. 
that would have been nice if it split open that way but it's uh very good for for what it is very very nice i do appreciate it and i think it is really really cool and then of course you get a blanket that comes with your figure it's really cool very very nice and of course if you want you can drape the blanket over your grogu aka baby yoda in the crib and have him taking a little nap laying down and he's got his little blanket draped over him so really really cool stuff very nice so getting you guys a closer look at the mandalorian figure very cool very awesome it's absolutely wonderful wonderful figure and i'd like to get him fully in the shot there but he's just a very big guy one six scale but you have your best guard armor pieces here the chest you do have um even though this is like shiny beskar um you do have another shoulder pad to switch out that has his uh emblem on it or his uh, insignia uh, on it and uh, we'll get a look at that in just a moment but you also have the jetpack which is really cool and of course we will cover that in the accessories as well but as you can see there's more beskar armor there you have the belt the uh, jetpack is magnetic Underneath this plate must be another magnetic piece, and it just simply goes right on there. So that's really cool. But getting you a look at our figure on the back side, just looks really, really good. Really, really awesome. And then, of course, you have the tethered cape, it's got a couple of holes in it. I think the original figure, uh, the cape was a little more tethered than that. It had a couple of more holes in it. Another part of your accessories is the bombs that he has here. Now these two bombs stay on the belt. This actually is removable. So that is one of your accessories. Uh, you also have a removable pin here. If you see that pin that moves right there, so that is removable as well. And then of course you have the pistol and it's holster, very nice holster. You have the clasp right there. Really, really good job with that. Again, more of the armor. It's really, really cool. The bandolier, the belt, very, very nice detail. Just really, really nice. On the legs there, the boots, all the accessories, really, really nice. So uh, again, you have that shoulder piece right there. I believe there is a Velcro strip underneath there. So you have a Velcro strip right there. And here you have the other shoulder piece with his insignia on it. The mud horn, I believe that is. Really cool. On the inside, it has a Velcro piece. Place it on the shoulder. And now you have your insignia with the best car armor on the shoulder really really cool so let's cover articulation with your one six scale best car armor mandalorian figure he's going to give you a straight arm like so gives you an elbow bend that goes back about that far so that's really good uh and the arm he's probably he's not going to uh, go all the way around because of the clothing that he has on um, this is probably as far up as you're going to get the arm with the clothing, um, but he does have a, a decent range that allows the arm go back about that far. And again, you can raise it up about that far. Mandalorian figure is going to give you a T pose that goes out about that far twist in the elbow there is a twist in the elbow and then of course you have a twist in the wrist as well there it will go back and forth there is a back and forth motion in the wrist as well 
thing with your other wrist back and forth. So he's going to go up about that far. He's going to give you a knee bend. That's about that far. So there's your knee bend right there. Back about that far, which is really good. Your Mandalorian Beskar armor figure is going to have a wide stance that's about that far. So that's really cool. At the thigh, there's a twist at the thigh. In the foot area, he's going to go down about that far. You go up so far, it won't go up too far. It's a slight movement down, slight back. You get a little to the left, slight movement to the right, but there's not a lot of articulation there. A lot of it due to the clothing just kind of limits the, the range there. In the head, you have down, it looks up, left, right, head nod, very good range on the ball joint in the head. Really, really cool articulation for your Mandalorian Beskar figure. Very cool. And of course we have our hologram and it's really cool. You guys can see the little piece there and you have the hologram image and the hologram image seems to be, and I don't know if you guys can see it, how to get it to focus in, but it looks like it's the Mandalorian himself. You can see there's a cape on the back. So it looks like it's a hologram of the Mandalorian. I don't know why he would be looking at a hologram of himself. I thought this would be Grief Karga. Uh, we've seen him a few times on the hologram. So even Moff Gideon might have been a better choice, but nonetheless, very cool. Nice little accessory. And then once again, just giving you guys a, another quick look at the backpack. Beskar armor, really, really nice. Very, very cool stuff. Looks really, really good. Love the detail in there. It's really, really nice all the way around. Very cool stuff. And then you have the magnet that's there. Really cool. And then of course, what good is a jetpack without the flames for the jetpack? So that's really nice. Great job there. They look really, really good on the jetpack. Very awesome. And of course, once you put, place the um, jetpack on your figure, you have the flames, you can definitely put them in flight. So very, very cool. Really, really nice stuff. So another very cool accessory that you have for your figure is you have this removable piece here that comes out for the ear. And then basically you have this exchangeable ear piece that has that same scope piece on it. And you place it on the side of the helmet. And now you have that side piece scope on the side of the helmet there, which is really awesome. Very, very cool. Get you guys a good look at that scope there. Really, really nice stuff. Out the rest of your accessories, you have the different hand gestures here, different hand holding positions. You also have the necklace here for Grogu, Baby Yoda. You have the fob. You have a piece of Beskar steel that he can actually hold. Uh, again, that is the scope for the side of the helmet. And then you have pieces here to uh, for your flamethrower, and we're going to get a better look at that. You also have the grappling, grappling hook right there, which is really cool. And then you have the Viber Blade. So he does have his Viber Blade as well. Of course, your whistling birds are presented right here. And of course, we'll get a look at those accessories on the figure as well with your flame from the flamethrower. So we'll get a look at those accessories on your figure as Here well. Here you have your Mandalorian figure with the flame accessory attached. Really, really cool stuff. 
just get you guys a closer look at that attachment. So as you guys can see, very cool, very, very nice accessory. And it attaches very, very easily. You have to remove the hand and there is a slot for the flame to slide into. It slides into underneath the little armor piece there. And then you have the top, this little piece of the flame that's clear. So it shows it coming from the flamethrower and out and off the wrist, which is really, really cool. Very, very nice accessory. For your whistling birds accessory, you have to remove the original piece here. And I believe you remove it from the back and it pops off as you guys can see. So once you've removed the back piece off of the whistling bird, you then want to remove this piece, which is the tip. So we've removed that piece as so well. Once you've replaced the tips for the whistling birds, as you can see there on this particular tip, we have the whistling birds exposed from the hole. So Again, as opposed to the tip that does not have the whistling birds exposed, you go to the tip that has the whistling bird exposed. And then you simply place the back, back on there. And now you have your whistling birds ready to fire, which is really cool. Now, when you're ready to actually fire your whistling birds, again, you're gonna remove this back, remove the back piece off as well as the tip. So now that we've removed the tip and the back piece off, we're going to replace it with this piece and it simply just snaps right onto the wrist. And now you have the Mandalorian firing off those whistling birds, very, very cool. And then of course you have the Viber blade. So really, really nice looking blade here. And I hope you guys can see all of the detail on it because there is some really, really nice detail on this thing. So really, really nice looking blade, excellent detail. As you guys can see there, that is really, really nice stuff with this blade. It just looks absolutely awesome. Look at that. That is really, really nice. So I love it. I think it looks great. Very, very cool. Then of course you have the hand that holds the blade. There's a hand position that holds the blade and it just looks really, really cool in his hands. It's nice. Love it, love it, love it. That is very, very cool. Then of course we have the fob, which is really cool. And um, we did get this fob with the original figure. So, right, and of course you have your Beskar pieces, or at least one piece here. So this is very cool, one individual piece for him to hold in his hand. So of course, he can hold the Beskar piece in his hand, which is really, really cool. So here you have a grappling hook which is another accessory for your figure. Very, very cool. And it has this nice little rod on it. And I'm gonna show you how we attach it. Giving you guys a look at the grappling hook. It's really, really cool stuff. I think it's a very, very awesome accessory. Very cool. And then of course, again, we have the hologram piece, which is really nice, very, very cool piece. Again, I don't know why, uh, it, it, what Mandalorian he's talking to. He could be talking to the heavy infantry Mandalorian. He could be talking to the armorer, um, even though the hologram doesn't look like the armorer because it doesn't have the fur on the back. So I don't know exactly who that is in the hologram that he's talking to. It, it looks a lot like the Mandalorian in the hologram. So not sure who that's supposed to be. 
but it is a very, very cool accessory. So giving you guys a look at the necklace for our Grogu, AKA Baby Yoda. It's a very small little necklace with the Mandalorian insignia on it. Very, very cool stuff. So you just simply remove the head of our Grogu, remove the head, then you wanna place the necklace around the ball joint. Then we replace the head for our Grogu figure. Snaps right into place. And now you have Grogu with his necklace, which is really, really cool. Very, very awesome stuff. Or Cantano, AKA ice cream maker, but the Cantano, very, very cool, very awesome. Obviously, it made its first appearance in Empire Strikes Back. Thanks to Woodrow, who was running around, had all of his valuables in, in this Cantano, and the producers of The Mandalorian decided to bring it back. And uh, it is now a very, very awesome accessory. Very cool. You have your little controls right there on the top. You have four, I'm sorry, three opening doors. Really cool. So you open the doors like so. And on the inside, you have your best car treasure or reward very very cool stuff and then with the top right here these two these two ends right here they they pop off and when you pull them off it exposes the battery case and the switch for it i've already replaced the batteries in here we're gonna move the switch to the on position there. And now that we've switched the on position, you can see that yellow light that is lighting up the best guard armor, which is really, really cool. And you can see the light there. And of course, again, guys, it's lighting up the armor. I mean, it's lighting up the best guard. just as it did in the show. So really, really cool stuff. And then getting you guys a look at the stacks of Beskar armor is really cool. You actually have a stack that comes off. That stack comes off of there. So if you wanna have him with a bunch of them together, you can do that and it is magnetized. There's a magnet there. So just connects right back on to there very very cool and then of course you can put it back into the cantano so you can hide your treasure so very very cool and then the doors close back very easily they have a hinge there's a hinge there so you kind of slide it back into place and you click it there and your door is closed and, and you go ahead and repeat that all the way around. And then of course you have your Camp to know all closed up and ready for travel. So really, really cool, very, very nice accessory. I think it is absolutely awesome. Of course, you have your Mandalorian holding, your Camp to know, which is really, really cool. Very, very awesome accessory, guys. So I think he looks absolutely awesome with the accessory. Just really, really nice stuff there, guys. Just really, really cool. The gun also has a removable scope. So you simply just remove it. It pops right out. And there's your scope. Really cool, it's got two little peg holes, it's two pegs there. 
and they simply slide back in to replace your scope. Peg holes back in the holes and your scope is back in place. So that's a really cool, nice addition to the uh, gun there. There's also a loading feature for your weapon, for the long rifle. You just pull that lever up and it opens up the chamber and there is your chamber. Now you would ask, well, what goes in there? What would you put in there? Well, these are shells for your long rifle. And I believe this is the only removable one, removable shell, but that is a removable shell that your Mandalorian can actually load into his weapon. So that is absolutely cool. Very, very nice accessory. So you can depict your Mandalorian loading his weapon, which is very, very awesome. And uh, should make for some very, very cool diorama shots for uh, any collector out there who likes to take photos uh, like myself. So very nice addition to this uh, very wonderful, wonderful accessory in regards to the uh, rifle. It's too bad he no longer has this particular weapon. Maybe it will be replaced. We'll see, I don't know. Along with the Razor Crest, I'd like to see the Razor Crest return as well. And then of course, to round out your accessories, you have your stand. Very cool, comes with a sand top there for your carrier, for your figure to stand on. Also comes with a flight hook so you can pose your figure in flight motion. So that's really cool. It also comes with this extended piece here for the floating crib or the fam, if you will. So it's really cool. And then of course, with your stand, you have the floating crib next to your Mandalorian, which is really, really cool. Very awesome. Makes for a wonderful display on your shelf for your one six scale Hot Toys figure. So really, really cool. Very awesome stuff. Love all of the accessories that come with this particular figure set. Very, very awesome stuff. So I wanted to give you a side-by-side -side comparison between the two different versions of the Mandalorian that we received in the one six scale Hot Toys version. And uh, of course, our original version came without the Beskar armor, uh, just the normal uh, armor, the brown shaded armor, which is really, really cool. And I, I actually like that particular version of the character in its raw form uh, prior to him actually gaining the best guard. But you do have some other subtle differences as well besides the best guard. Uh, the, one of the first things I noticed is the strap for the side weapon or for your holster. Uh, they gave you a longer strap on this deluxe version, the best guard version. Uh, versus the original version. The original version has the same type of strap. It's just a little bit shorter and makes it a little bit harder uh, to get that piece in there or for it to even stay in there. Um, so I see on the deluxe version, they've improved that, made it a little bit longer, a little bit easier to get in there. And I think it holds it, itself in place a little bit better uh, than it does on the previous version. Um, and then other than that, you see the undergarment where it's beige there, uh, it's gray here uh, on him. Uh, we have a, a bit of a difference in regards to the undergarment itself. Uh, it's a little bit darker on the deluxe version uh, versus our regular version. Um, but other than that, um, not too many other differences. Of course, the shading on the helmet uh, is a lot cleaner on your deluxe versus the original version. So um, just some subtle differences uh, between the two different figures. And then of course, your deluxe comes with several different accessories uh, that uh, makes it a very value figure set. Um, so absolutely cool. Did you skip the original in favor of the deluxe or best car version? Most definitely you can. He only, was in this particular original form for one episode. Uh, ever since then, he's had the best car. So yeah, you most definitely can skip the original version and just go ahead and purchase the deluxe version. But I do like the original version 
the raw form of the Mandalorian. Uh, so I really do enjoy that and think it's really, really cool. So very happy to have both of these figures in my collection, guys, and wanted to get you guys that really quick comparison. Uh, I love the battle damage on the uh, shields there, on both shields. This is really, really cool stuff, guys. Even if you look at the capes, the cape on the original version is much more tattered, as you can see. You have more holes at the bottom, even though you still have the one hole in the middle. Here, on the newer one, you only have the one hole in the middle, but miraculously, all the holes at the bottom were fixed along with the new best car. So kind of a couple of little differences there between the uh, two different versions of the figure that we received with the uh, Hot Toys collection. All right, guys. So now we are going to get our figure in a couple of diorama settings here, starting with the Razor Crest. I've kind of put together a makeshift version of the inside of the razor crest here so let's go ahead and get a diorama going with this one six scale set of the mandalorian and child guys let's go ahead and get started <laughs>
there you have your Beskar Mandalorian Hot Toys 1 6 scale figure. Very awesome figure, very cool figure. I love this figure with the Beskar armor. It is absolutely cool. And then of course, with all of the accessories that this particular set comes with, it is absolutely cool. My one very, I guess, big gripe with this particular set is the lack of articulation with your Grogu, AKA Baby Yoda figure. Uh, you only have articulation with the head. Uh, there is no articulation in the hands or feet um, or anywhere other than the head uh, with both of your Grogu figures. However, you do get two separate figures with this particular set, which gives you a total of three figures. Plus you have the floating crib, stand, plethora of accessories, the whistling birds, the flame, the, the flamethrower, um, just uh, uh, you even have the grappling hook as well. Uh, so lots of accessories, some really cool poses that you can do with this guy. So uh, I think this is well worth the cost of this particular set, uh, even though your Grogu figure is lacking in articulation i still think it is a very good set and well worth the money guys so let me know what your thoughts are in regards to this particular set have you purchased this set do you like it let me know is it something that you are thinking about getting uh let me know guys and put those comments down below and i want to thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe and of course guys from the Father, to the Son, to the Obi-Wan Force Ghost. May the Force be with you, always.